welcome back ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Neverwinter Nights 2 with the Aftershock mod. Right, we are making our way through the Baron's Manor. Last episode we talked to the Baron himself. Baron Shithead. <laughs> He's down here. So we're going to keep continuing on to this place. We have the upper level that we have not been up to yet. And supposedly there's a bunch of wizards up there and they have the key to the uh, dungeon which is right over here so we have to go upstairs first there are three stairways there's one here in the center and one on the east side and one on the west side so we're just gonna hit them one by one uh, let's see there was something I wanted to do before we continue on we've picked up a bunch of scrolls last episode and I wanna check to see if possibly maybe Marissa can use some of these like blood to water I think yeah clerks and favorite souls can use that so Let's pass that one off. Dehydrate this is for druids and spirits. Hmm, I don't think she's gas. Yeah, she's not going to be able to use that yes. one. And we also have mass contagion. She should be able to use that. It's for cleric, so let's see. Yep, she can use it. And let's see, we have disintegrate, sorcerers, wizards, and fire burst sorcerers. Burst. Yeah, once we get Zara's uh, use magic device skill higher, she'll be able to use these other scrolls, so let's keep them on her. Sure. Let's do a quick equipment check while we're here. Make sure we're not forgetting yes. anything. We picked up a bunch of weapons and stuff, too. We got all kinds of goodies to use. We got plenty yeah. blood for Marissa. All right. I think we're ready. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. Let's see what's going on up here. Ooh, autosave already. <laughs> that tells me there's going to be a fight up here. Let's go. I feel no. And, okay. What do we got going on here? I see a skeleton. Possibly. Oh, yeah, there's wizards in these other rooms here, it looks like. Yep, there's one over there, too. Okay, well. Let's just fight the skeleton real quick. Here comes a wizard. Hmm, let's take a look at a map. Okay, it looks like there's some small rooms up here. But there are wizards everywhere. Alright, let's keep fighting. Uh, let's see, let's go to Rodan. Let's see if we can shoot these wizards up. Let's target this guy here. Oh, what do we got going? Oh, we just got stunned. Great. Alright, you know what? Since that guy is stuck, let's grab Garth. Let's see if we can kill this damn wizard. This might get ugly. Alright, he's down. Let's go for this one next. Don't run away, fool! Right, we got that wizard there. Ooh, bam. Alright, so we got one there, one there. And is there any back here behind us? Not that I can see. Alright, let's take care of this guy. Uh, Rodan's still stunned. Alright, there's a wizard there running around. Alright, they're going down relatively easily. Is gonna be able to get in there? Or is there no lane blocking the door here. That one's almost dead. Let's finish this guy off while we're over here. There's another one over there. Damn it. We just lost Zara. Where's Rodan? Let's target this guy. Let's get some many shot. Alright, we got some stunning going on here. And where's Marissa? Is that other guy dead? Yeah, he's dead. Alright, let's get over here. Let's take this damn wizard out. Alright, is that all of them? Damn. That got chaotic. Alright, Zara's back up. Let's get her up here with the rest of us before something comes. Alright. Oh, let's see. Can we breast? up here not so soon what do you all right in the meantime let's look at some of these containers we have here there's a table here cure criticals and cure disease and there's a desk over here with a bunch of scrolls all right yes. let's have Zara grab all that stuff she can identify all those drone magic vestment and black tentacles 
Right, drone. Is that druids only? Yep. And magic vestment. That is clerics. We might be able to give that to Marissa. Yep, she can use it. Sure. Alright, let's see. Can we rest? Yep. Alright. Let's get Zara squared away before something else jumps us while we're up here. Alright, is that everything in this room? It looks like it. Alright, let's go to Zara. Let's see what's on the corpses out here. A wizard's blade. What is this thing? Dagger plus two. Keen. And on hit it does stunning. Alright, let's grab those. And another wizard's blade. And some healing and cure disease. Good. And another skeleton plate. Is that the same as the other one we have? It looks like it. Let's grab that. And that's going to put her overweight. So let's move that to Garth. Alright, and there's a door here. Let's look in there real quick. And it looks like just a washroom or something. Alright. Let's go to this next room. Boots of Striding plus two. And another scroll and a pile of gold. Boots of Striding plus two. I believe... Yep. We have one of those ready. Yeah, Garth has a set. I actually wouldn't mind putting that on Marissa. Well, actually, no. It needs to go on Zara. She's currently got the boots of reflexes. Yeah, I want to give them to Zara because she's got the lowest hit points right now. And if we put them on her, it'll r increase her hit points a bit. She doesn't really need the boots of reflexes plus two. Her reflexes are pretty high already. So, yeah, if we drop that, it's going to drop to eight. So, let's equip that. That's going to increase her constitution up to 12, which will give her a little bit of hit, hit points, yeah, from 24 to 28. Let's do that. Um, do I think need? everybody else has boots. We got the soft boots for Rodan. And the boots of hardiness, I am not giving okay. those up. Everyone follow and me. Garth has the other we'll ones. See how it's done. All right, medium blood, we can pass that off. And... Let's pass off some of this other stuff here so she's not loaded down with a bunch of crap. That can move off, that can move off. And let's just move that too. Alright, let's keep going and see what else we got going on up here. Alright, there is a dead wizard here. Let's look at his body. He's got nothing on him. And there's one here. It looks like he does have something. Another wizard's blade. Some more blood and cure criticals. We'll take them. I don't see any containers in here, though. Alright, last room. Little pile of gold. A wizard's robe and a mage mask. Let's see, wizard's robe. Plus two armor and arcane defense for necromancy and spell penetration. Mm, we're not going to be able to get some use out of that, I don't think. And when the Mage Mask. Intelligence plus two and Concentration plus three. Now that we can use. This is one of the masks worn by the Necromancers in the Baron's Manor. Wearing it makes you more able to focus your mind. But you also look a bit stupid, so the old saying is true. All magic comes at a price. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I don't care about how we look, because plus two Intelligence and plus three Concentration, I'll take it. And... Ooh, Necromancer Staff. Quarter Staff plus two that does create undead once a day. Hmm. That's a nice staff, too. We got some death armor and some cure crits. Let's grab all that stuff. All right. Let's pass off the blood. The wizard's robes. We're not going to use that, I don't think. And death armor. We can give that yep. to Garth. All right, that mage mask. Intelligence plus two. We don't have anybody that's really going to get an advantage from spells from intelligence because we're all charisma based. So, okay. who's got the lowest intelligence out of all of us? Me. Probably we'll Garth. Yeah, he's got an intelligence of eight. I actually wouldn't mind getting that up because he's losing uh, skill uh, points from that. Hmm. Although, the plus three concentration is getting wasted on him, though, because he can't cast any spells. Hmm. So, the question is... Who do we really want to give that to? 
Um, I could potentially give it to Rodan, but I really want to give it to somebody that's going to get an advantage out of that concentration. Either Marissa or Zara. Hmm, Zara's intelligence is 16. Marissa is 14, but she's got the yeah, the amulet of Shantae, which is already increasing her intelligence by plus four. And plus, doesn't... Yeah, she's getting plus two concentration already. So... Yes. I guess we can give it to Zara. She's got a... A helm slot open. That's going to get her intelligence up to 18. That's going to give her a lot more skill points, too. Yep, let's just do that, then. Okay. But once we get some spells going on here on Garth, I think I might move it back over here. So he'd get a better advantage off of that. Alright, we're going to leave it like it is right now, though. Alright, let's see, what else did we grab? Anything? Oh yeah, this staff. Who can benefit from that? I'm thinking actually Rodan. Sure. That'll give him something to use, because he doesn't really have any magic items to use. So he can use that as... Something to yeah create some undead with if we really need it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put that on him. All right. No key that we found though up here, so that tells me that key that we need to the dungeon is in one of those other stairways, because yeah, it looks like these are separate rooms because there's a stairway over here and another stairway over here. So it looks like we have to go up each of these stairways. Because they certainly aren't connected to this portion. Alright, so. Let's go back down. And I guess we'll go this way first. Check this side, and we'll come back over here to this side. Alright, let's see. You know what? Let's go for a rest. Just to make sure. I know we rested already, but let's make sure. I want to buff up again, because we're probably going to run into another hornet's nest or something up here. So, let's get some endure elements on everyone. And let's go ahead and... Oh, not that. Let's get ghostly visage. I'm going to hold off on the potions, though, until we find out actually what's yep. up there. Let there might not be that. anything up there. I don't want to waste too many potions. All right, we ready? All right, let's grab Garth. Let's go see what's up here. Yep. Yep. And there's also a skeleton up here. Looks like just just one wizard and one skeleton. Okay. Let's go right for that wizard. Let's get some many shot on him too. I want to unload on him. Get him, boys. Oh, wow, he's dead already. <laughs> All right, shoot his ass up. Just a skeleton. Okay, good. And there's some containers up here. Let's go to Zara first. Ooh, got a cloak. Ooh, nice, a cloak of fortification plus two. That is a good cloak. And we got a table up here. With a bunch more scrolls. We got Hiss of Sleep, Creeping Cold, and Create Undead. And an amulet. Natural armor plus two. Nice. Finding some nice magic items up here. Oh, there's a table here too with some potions, it looks like. Cure criticals, cure disease, and some speed. Let's move that speed to Garth. Uh, we should probably share the wealth on some of these cure criticals yep. here. Uh, let's Let see. Let me take the lead. Oh well, hell, we got a lot of them. You know what? Let's move this one down to Garth. He's got all the healing kits. Yes. All right, so we got hiss asleep, creeping cold, and create undead, which is a cleric scroll. Let's pass that off to Marissa. Yep, she can use it. Okay, so. Cloak of Fortification plus two. That's Deflection and Universal Saves plus two. I really like those cloaks. These are one of the best cloaks in the game for sure. Cloaks of Fortification. So, who do we want to give that to? What do you need? Somebody with... Yes. 
Zara's got low saves, so I'm thinking. Yeah. You know what? Let's keep that on her. That's going to raise her armor class. So, and it's going to raise her saves. So, she's got this ring of protection plus one. Deflection does not stack, so. This fortification's already given a deflection plus two, and this ring is only deflection one. So. Sure. Rodan, he's already have. Yeah, he's got that ring of protection plus one yes. already. Marissa, she's got something too, doesn't she? Yeah, she's got a cloak of fortification yep. too. And Gildring, that's deflection too. Yeah, he's got plus two deflection, so I guess we're going to end up selling that ring. So we have this Amulet of Natural Armor plus two yet. Yeah. Garth has got an armor class of 26. That's pretty good. Marissa's got 20, but she's got the Amulet of Shantae, and I don't think I want to get rid of that. Only favorite souls can use that, and that's, that's a nice increase for both charisma and intelligence for plus four, so I'm going to leave that on her. We can remove that, right? Yeah. Let's just leave that on her. Yes. So, Zara's armor class is 22, sure. and Rodan's is 20, so maybe... You know what? Let's what give that to Rodan. Get his armor class up, so we can move this glittering necklace yes. over to Zara. Might as well use it. It just gives a little bit of light. Alright, equipment check. Sure. Yeah, we're yeah we're yes. good on healing supplies now. I think, especially for Marissa. Yeah, she doesn't have to worry. We got plenty of blood for her. All right, let's hotkey the speed potion. Yep, we're in really good shape. All right, um, are we good here? I think we got all the containers in this room. Still no key though, so the key must be up that other stairway on the east side, so let's get out of here. Yeah, so far I'm digging this. The fights aren't super easy. They're, you know, they're a bit challenging and that's the way I like it. I play on hardcore difficulty all the time now, so... Yeah, I like a little bit of challenge in the fights. When they're really simple, it's not too much fun. Alright, yeah, that's the dungeon gate there. Um, let's see, there's probably going to be another fight up here. You know what, let's go for a rest again. And then just rebuff up. I'm assuming there's going to be more wizards up here too. And ghostly visage. Yes. Um, you know what, let's go... Yeah, let's get... Well, do I want to do that? Yeah, I, I don't really want to do that because we might need that cure moderate wounds. But yeah, I wouldn't mind putting that ghostly visage on Zara too. But let's just hold off. I keep her in the back, anyways. <laughs> uh, let's see. Are we ready to go? Let's go. Everyone, follow me and see how it's done. No, oh, wizard leader. Okay, he must be the guy with the key. And a skeleton. These guys are in a neutral state at the moment. There are some containers in here. Let's see what's going to happen here. Who are you, and what do you want? Well, for stutters, I'm not your friend, and what I want is the dungeon key. You want to go to the dungeon? That can be arranged. I'm sure they'll be getting a bit hungry down there by now. <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? Go there and find out. I'll give you the key if you want. <laughs> Yeah, it's loaded with undead. No way! It's way more satisfying to take it from your lifeless corpse. <laughs> In this situation, I have to agree. Much more satisfying. Sounds like a plan, then. Wait, how did you do that? Do what? Her. She can talk. Who created her? <laughs> uh, I guess that's something you'll never know. I guess we can attack him now, but let's see what he's going to say. Shantaea? A goddess of plants? Don't try to deceive me. Is she some sort of zombie lich? You're not a zombie lich, are you, Marissa? <laughs> no. Go on, Rodan. You can tell this pathetic specimen the truth. And now he has no idea about how to do real magic. It's true. 
The magic used on Marissa is way beyond your capabilities, so maybe you should try to explain yourself. Marissa here might be able to put in a good word for you with the one who did it. I could try, I suppose, but why would I want to do that after all the mess this lot has created? We have only done what we were told to, nothing more. There seems to be a lot of that sort of thing going on lately. Explain yourself. We were to take over this place from the Baron, let the others in, ensure the prisoners go in the dungeon, and wait for further instructions. We had a bit of fun with some of the servants and guards, but that was strictly for our protection. A bit of fun with the servants and guards? Who told you to come here? My masters. And they are? My masters. That is all you need to know. If you wish to meet with them, then perhaps I can arrange it, but you must bring her along. They have to see what is possible, and I wish to examine her. That could take too long. Just tell us where they are, and we'll pay them a visit. I think you have an admirer, Marissa. Oh dear, Rodan's much better looking. He hasn't got a chance. <laughs> Very funny, you two. Listen to me, Mr. Moody Mass Weirdo. I am not some sort of experiment to be examined. I am a person, as were all the other people you turned into monsters. She thinks she's alive. That truly is amazing work. What does she eat? <laughs> this guy, man. Hopefully not you, but she doesn't look very happy. Not very happy? We're all victims of people like this idiot. Now, back to what I was saying earlier. Take the key from his lifeless corpse. I can't argue with that. Attack. Alright. Let's shoot this guy up. And we got some haste going on. Alright, Garth, you need to get up there and kill this guy. Oh, damn, he went down quick. Just a skeleton remaining. Nice, got a couple level ups. Alright, wizard leader, do you have the key? And yes he does. Dungeon key, the key to the Baron's manor dungeon. Alright, let's grab that thing. And we got a table. With a bunch of scrolls and a note. Once you have taken the island from the idiot and are awaiting our guests, prepare the dungeon and make the place secure. As I am sure you are aware, they will arrive at night, so be ready for them and treat them with respect, as they are of great importance in our future. The Baron will pay for the fresh subjects. Do not harm them. It is not up to you who will be chosen, so leave that to the experts. Once we are ready to receive you, we will send word. Okay. Hmm. Alright, the scrolls, let's have Zara grab all them. Alright, Power Word Stun, Missile Storm, and Ethereal Visage. And there's a cabinet over here as well. Ring Resistance plus two. Universal Saves plus two, and a Potion of Restoration. Hmm, good. Let's grab that. Alright, let's take a look at all those scrolls. Yeah, Zara can use all them. Alright, that Ring of Resistance, who's got the Let lowest saves the nowadays? Rodon's got a low will. Zara's got a low fortitude. Marissa's kinda low. Yep. Garth is doing well. Hmm. What do you need? Yeah. L low will. Yeah, you know what? I don't like that low will. Let's get that resistance sure. ring up here to Rodon. He's got a slot for it. Yep, it went up by two points. That'll work. Yes. Alright, that uh, potion of restoration, we can pass that off to Garth, I think. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of these level ups. Rodan, 7th level ranger. Let's keep him going as a ranger. And let's put some in the tumble. Let's go survival and spot. And let's get some in Listen. And let's get Hide up. And what else? We have one more point. Uh, let's 
Let's put it into concentration. And we just picked up Woodland Stride. I think that is 10% increase in speed in, in the f forest, if I remember right. Character is capable of moving through wilderness terrain at an increased rate. Yep, sure is. Alright, now we have Garth. 7th level Paladin. And let's just put it into heal. Yeah, he's only got one skill point. Yep, he will do fine. And let's look at his spells. Yeah, he can't get any. Sure. No change for Rodan. Alright, let's go for a rest. Okay. Alright, is there anything else we need to do up here? I think we got everything. So, let's go back down. And let's check out the gate. We should be able to unlock it now. Yep, it looks like it. Let's use the key. And we got a journal update. Yep, we just used the key. Yeah, found the key and got access to the dungeon. Now you need to look for your sister. Alright. I'm guessing there's some bad guys down there, so let's buff up again. Let's get some endure elements. And let's get some ghostly visage. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on the potions again. Let's see what we're dealing with first. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, I think we've been everywhere, in this part at least. Alright, Garth, you can lead the way. Hmm, let's take a look at the map. Ooh, there's a big chamber up here. Alright, let's go. Let's have, uh, let's see, let's go with some dark vision on Garth and let's have him lead out. Cutscene. That's really nice, isn't it? Walk in somewhere and get greeted by a pile of dead bodies. <laughs> you do realize we might have to look through them. I will do that for you. I can perform some rites, too. I have had some practice of such things recently and do not mind. Thanks, Garth. I appreciate it. I hope your sister's all right, Rodan. If she's... If she's like me before, do you want me to try my amulet on her? That's very kind of you, Marissa, but I think that you were chosen for it, and it's probably just for you. I'll still give it a go, whatever you say, but I really hope it's not necessary. So do I. So hands up, anybody for whom this is their first dungeon. <laughs> what are you on about, Zara? First dungeons. All great adventurers have had their first one, and this is mine. Anybody else? All right, it's mine too. <laughs> And mine. What about you, Garth? I have been in a hundred crypts before with my brothers. Does that count? It's pretty close, but it's not an actual dungeon. Definitely not. Dungeons are dungeons, and crypts, no matter how haunted, are still crypts. So I will now mark this moment in time as the very special occasion of our first ever dungeon. Do you actually know what the time is? I haven't got a clue. In fact, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> Pretty hard to mark it in time, then, but I get the idea. Good, and it worked. What did? You three all getting over moody and serious. All right, this is very serious. We all know that, but I don't want to be any more scared than I am already. Thanks. Fair enough. So we'll start again. Who's ready to deal with the evil in this place? You forgot and walk out into the sun victorious. That seems strange coming from one such as you, Marissa. I still like the sun. I might be getting a bit more fond of the moon, but the sun's still good. How about walking out into the fresh air? It really doesn't have the same effect. No, definitely not. Not doing anything for me, either. Fine. Let us deal with the evil in this place and walk out into the sun victorious. Come on. <laughs> Alright, yeah, there's a pile of bodies they were talking about. Alright, let's go to Garth. Okay. Everyone follow me! 
and see how it's done. Ooh, auto save. Ooh, there's a bunch of bad guys in here. Ooh, young vampires. Hmm. All right, you know what? Let's get some triple X going on here. This might be a little bit of a pain in the ass here dealing with some vampires. Uh, let's see. What else can we use? Well, maybe he can put up... Yeah, you know what? Let's get some death armor fired up, too. All right, let's open up the gate. Hopefully we can take these things out. Well, we got some Evard's black tentacles back there. All right, where is everybody? Rodon's back here. Let's get Zara a bit closer. We got a level up going on. I wonder if they're close enough to get cursed. Let's get up here and let's go for a curse. Alright, looks like we are hurting them. Alright, just keep shooting them, boys. Yeah, I thought they might be regenerating and stuff, but it looks like they're not. Oh, there's a prisoner back there, too. Okay, it looks like we got them all. Let's wait for those tentacles to go away. I don't want to run over them. We do have a level up for Marissa. In the meantime, let's check these doors. And what do we have on the table? A book and some gold. What's the book say? This is a book full of names and numbers that shows some sort of gambling was going on down here. And it looks like it was in fights as some names appear more than once next to other names that are crossed out. Hmm. The Baron has his name and amounts next to quite a few of the names, and it looks like he wasn't much of a gambler, as his choice is normally the one crossed out. <laughs> Your sister's name is not in here. No need to keep this. Okay. And let's check over here. Just a storage room with nothing in it. All right. Uh, there's a prisoner in there we need to talk to, too. But first, let's do this level up. Marissa is now a 7th level favored soul. Let's go with heal and concentration and spellcraft. That's going to eat up all her points. And we get a spell. First level. Probably night shield. We could get inflict light wounds, too. Let's eat night shield. One minute, a level. Provides a plus one resistance bonus on all saves, which increases at 6th and ninth level. In addition, the spell negates magic missile attacks. Yeah, let's get that one. Yeah, these other ones aren't too useful. That should work. Alright, let's go in here and see what's going on. There's a bunch of cells in here. Uh, let's see. Let's see if this woman sure. says something. Uh, get out of here. It is full of monsters. Save yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. Everyone I wonder if we can open up that see gate. How it's, done. it's locked. Can we bash it? <sighs> nope. Hmm. I don't see any other prisoners in here. Oh, there's one here. Oh, that's a named one, Joanne. Oh, we've lost our... our skeleton warrior, it looks like. And... more cells over here. Ooh, there's some bad guys over there, too. All hobgoblins. Alright, let's go deal with them. We should be able to take these out. Alright, Zara, let's get you in a little closer here. Shoot him up. Hmm, time is running up too, it looks like. So let's kill off these hobgoblins. And then we're probably going to have to end the episode here. Yep. Alright, I don't see anything else in here. Nothing on the hobgoblins. 
Ooh, there's somebody over here, too. What is that? More young vampires. Wow, there's prison cells all over this place. I don't see any other prisoners here, though. There's a dead one over there, it looks like. And this one's locked. Can we bash that? If we hit it, we can, probably. Yeah, there we go. Alright, well, there's a person named Joanne over here. I think we'll talk to her in the next episode, as we are certainly running up on time. So, if you guys still like this stuff, please leave me a like. I appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.